What's up guys? This is Raymond Iron by McKinney. Today I'm going to show you another illustration involving magnetic fields, how objects gravitate in the direction of the magnetic field, and electricity. Um, just involving those basic principles and then how it ties into deliberate manifesting. So as you can see here, when the I've these circles right here, see the arrows right here? They just resemble the circles infinitely. They're just they're just spinning circles. When this one spins this way, this one spins the other way because they're, when they're connected, they're like gear shifts. They just spin in opposite directions. And the ones across from each other go in the same direction as well, as you can see in the arrows. And the N, oops, a little blurry there. There you go. There's an N there. N and magnetic pole, N and S and N and S. And as you can see here, these little red things here, they resemble the pendulums that are infinitely swaying back and forth, spiraling in the direction of the, and being spiraling and gravitating in the direction of the magnetic field itself. It's infinitely spiraling within itself. As the wheels turn, then this, it just, it's like a barber pole effect. It's infinitely spiraling and gravitating in the direction of itself. The pendulums are just in perpetual motion. Perpetual spiral motion. They are perpetually spiraling. Like you can think of a, a, a planetarium where it's like a pendulum just sways back and forth and it slightly moves. It just, I like to think of it as like something like this. It's just like... And then you just notice it's just kind of going back and forth this way. And we're thinking real in relative terms here, guys. But yeah, that the whole idea behind the pendulums is um, I'm just kind of helping you give a better illustration of how these um, how I use pendulums here. And these illustrations to help your mind when it comes to deliberate manifesting. That you're not you're not changing the pendulums, but rather you're selecting a different viewpoint of the pendulum of what already exists. So, you, as a, it's like zooming in. You're zoom, when you zoom into that circle right there. It's infinitely you're infinitely zooming in. The magnetic field becomes amplified through your focus. And I'm going to read this thing here. I made some notes over here. I'm going to, as I'm videoing this, I'm going to read the notes. As the saying goes, get your head in the game. The game of life, that is. Mentally plug yourself into the system of life like a, hard, a USB hard drive. Plug your, plug your electrically charged focus into the magnetic field, data field of energy or info or dreams vibrating on various frequencies or cycles that reveals itself relative to you. You live in a magnetic field of energy and the magnetic field of energy resides within you. The metronome of swaying pendulums infinitely spiral and gravitate in the direction of the magnetic field itself. And your focus yields and gravitates in the direction of the magnetic field around and within yourself. The greater your focus, the more amplified the field becomes, and you, and you gravitate relatively faster in the direction of itself. The number of cycles represents frequency, how frequent events occur at a given focal point in space-time. Objective experiences, in other words. Your frequent... Guys, your frequent... And this is you guys. Your frequent, locked-in, bullseye focus on a given point in space-time or objective reality, lived by in secret, reveals that section of reality. Nope. Ah, my cat got in the way. Reve reveals that reality accordingly. And you're, re and you're rewarded openly. Physics is quite magical when you can consciously adhere to it through your Orient and focus. 
Your orient and focus, like a compass or the coordinates of a GPS system, reveals your destination or reality accordingly. Period. This doesn't need to be any more simple to apply. You don't have to, quote unquote, religiously believe. This has nothing to do with forcing yourself to believe. This is why I admire physics at a deeply fundamental level because there is no debate when living by these powerful principles in secret. Everything in life is governed by physics and you can allow physics to work in your, in, to your advantage. Everyone has free will to view and choose life as, a, as he or she pleases. Even the one who's watching this message or listening to this message can discount everything I say. Simply, you just ad adhere or conform or yield to the given physics of life itself by adjusting your focus or tuning your focus in relation to life itself. You don't control the universe, guys. You simply select one of infinitely many universes or realities within yourself, waiting to be tapped into, awaken, and express through you and reveal itself relative to you. So guys, the whole idea is the simple the simple answer is this guys. Your focus live by in secret reveals reality, your reality. Your focus, when you lock in your focus, that's what reveals reality. You're amplifying the magnetic field and revealing that one of those infinitely many viewpoints of reality within yourself. Projecting itself through you moment by moment. You're selecting realities moment by moment, guys, through your orienting focus. And you direct your focus, whether it's through visualizations, affirmations, uh, eavesdropping technique, or listening as if you're listening to someone say congratulations to you, or just making a natural conversation that, uh, that implies success to you. What, what does success imply to you? Use words that imply success to you. Maybe if you just think of it like this, maybe maybe you've never felt like you, and you don't have to feel anything, guys, because feeling feeling is a byproduct of your orient and focus. What you focus on, you can you can still manifest even if you're in, in going through anxiety or desperation, guys. You you're always manifesting moment by moment. Things work out in your favor, even if you're going through anxiety or if you're feeling sad or angry or all these things. You don't have to feel this. You don't have to be in this overly happy state all the time. It's okay to feel any kind of negative, unpleasant emotions at times. It's okay. Accept them in the moment and just go through them. Keep redirecting your focus. By using affirmations like, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Even if it doesn't feel natural, even if it doesn't feel good in the moment, it's to still use the words because things still manifest even if you don't feel, if even if you have unpleasant feelings. Your orient and focus, it was what reveals your reality, guys. Period. And for me, I like to use words like affirmations or inner conversations. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? I'm so glad that my perfect person is in my life right now. Isn't it wonderful? Just words like that, just conversations like that, as if you're talking to your best friend, guys, your, uh, or a family member, whatever. No one's limiting you but yourself, guys. And you don't have to believe anything. This is physics. Your focus adheres to the laws of physics, the principles of physics. That everything is governed by physics, and your focus adheres to it. You're just selecting one of the infinitely many realities that already exists. So guys, I hope this video helps a ton, and I bless y'all and happy manifesting. What would the Iron Body do? I am the Iron Body. I've always been a master magician. Life is rigged in my favor. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Bless y'all and happy manifesting.